It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Overtone Brewing Company and it's a can of their Ollie Canna Pale Ale coming in at 5% ABV. Ollie Canna Pale and it's been brewed in collaboration with Brisbane Brewing Company. 440 can. Let's get this beer out into a glass see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass there. Looks pretty good. We've got a two finger white head. Straw coloured beer, definitely straw. Hazy straw, mm, would it be amber if it was clear? No, I'm gonna stick with straw coloured on this one. Nice levels of carbonation, let's get the aroma. Smells really good, lovely. A real orangey aroma to this beer. Like flesh freshly squeezed like tangerine something like that oh, just one of these beers you just want to keep getting your nose in keep smelling it let's dive in cheers everybody Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, Overtone Brewing Company are killing it at the moment, absolutely killing it. Now, I've just turned on Facebook this morning, shared my, my usual beer links all over my Facebook page and, and, and in the YouTube beer reviewers group on Facebook and up, up popped, I can't speak, up popped a post from Daniel. Daniel, who owns Overtone Brewing Company, saying that they're in the final of the Scottish Craft Beer, or the Scottish Beer Awards 2019. This video was made, probably launched, it, it's, it's, it's September the 12th, 2019. The video will probably be released any time from now until like early October, so... Um, if you're watching this in the future, an Overtone Brewing Company have already made it. They've already made it into the big time, which I'm pretty sure they will. Um, yeah, this is this is a video congratulating them on making the final of the Scottish Beer Awards. I think they're going to smash it. I think that I've had a look at the competition. They should absolutely smash it. I think this year. This beer is terrific, fantastic, drinkable, juicy, refreshing pale ale. Lots of mandarin, kind of tangerine, juicy flavours. Do you know when you peel a tangerine and you kind of stick a piece in your mouth and bite it on your back molars and it explodes on your palate and it's just lovely and fleshy and, and really tasty and juicy. I'm not getting the fleshiness, of course, in the beer, but I'm getting that that tasty, juicy drinkability of the of the beer. I've trusted my dog. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. I had the door open today. Trusted him to be quiet. And he got bad ears and he's like shaking his ears around and I don't know if you can hear that next door. Poor thing, I'll have to give him some beer to cheer him up. Um, my, this is my first beer from Brisbane Brewing Company, I believe. And it's also my first beer with the Olianka. Olianka, that's what it's called. What did I call it? Olianka Pale. And then it's Olianka Hops. Olianka, Amarillo, Centennial, Citra is the hops. The malts are pale, Maris, Otter, white, wheat, flaked oats, golden naked oats, and the yeast is a Vermont ale yeast. Terrific stuff, 5% ABV. Uh, brewed in collaboration with Brisbane Brewing Company. Their brewers are from Glasgow, so it seemed to be the perfect match. We picked British and American hops to produce a light, pithy New England pale ale with tons of tropical fruits. 
and citrus. This is just staggering. Drinkability is amazing. <laughs> Drinkability is incredible. Just a super juicy pale ale. Um, nice little bit of kind of light crisp malts at the, to begin with, a little bit of sweetness there and then a, a nice light bitterness on the back end. But they're all about these wonderful juicy hazy beers at, at Overtone Brewing Company and they're producing some of the best in the country I would say at the moment, maybe even the best in the world. They're, they're, really, they're really producing some amazing beer at the moment. Uh, good luck, Scottish Beer Awards. As I say, if I've released this afterwards and it's already happened, um, my apologies. If you're watching this video in two years' time, then then they may have already won it two years ago. Rating. Little kind of sweetness to begin with, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. In the middle, for me, it's all orange. It's all nectarine, orange, kind of, yeah, wonderful kind of orange flavours. It's really good, really good. Maybe kind of like, almost kind of like, rock back in my chair and go to sleep even though I'm standing up. <laughs> I like this beer enough to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.